Get ready to discover answers in the Bible with Bayless Conley. And Paul dresses Peter down in front of everybody. You see, Peter feared those of the circumcision, the, the, the believers that still believed that you had to keep the law that came from James. The Greek says that he was overawed by them. You're in trouble when you get overawed by anybody. Sometimes we're carried away and we're false to our own convictions because we're so overawed by a personality. Friend, famous people, just because they're famous doesn't make them right. And the majority is not always right. You need to remember, the person you think is a big shot, they're just a little shot away from home. <laughs> and so Peter's carried away in hypocrisy, everybody else, and even our beloved Barnabas is carried away in the hypocrisy. I mean, you know, of all people, he's been a champion for the Gentiles being saved by grace through faith as well as Peter. And so Paul rebukes Peter in front of everyone, and you know it had to be absolutely humiliating for Peter to be rebuked and corrected in front of all these people. And how does he react? Did he swell up like some old toad and say, look, who do you think you are? I lived with Jesus for three years. I saw the miracles. I heard the sermons. You preach about the loaves and the fishes. I was the one that distributed them. I was there on the Mount of Transfiguration when Moses and Elijah appeared. Where were you? I was there when Christ ascended into heaven. And the angels told us that he would come again in like manner. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? No, they worked through it, and Peter got over it. Listen to what he writes later on. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, Peter writes, And consider that the long-suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you. He called Paul beloved. He called him wise. He got over it.